Want to know how to get rid of this hardened adhesive? Watch this video to find out. <laughs> So what we have here is uh, a shirt. It's already been cleaned uh, using Napisan. I've shown you the method in our previous videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it out on this. I've just used um, a thick wooden board. Worked for years, seems to, to work fine. Lay the shirt out so you've got access to the inside of the, um, so you can see there, there's the number nine. And when you're working, is that a point of note here, when you're working with any solvent, you need to be really careful to make sure the solvent doesn't get from one part of the shirt onto another, because that will likely damage a, a, a team badge on the other side or a sponsor or anything along those lines. So having it inside laid out on this wooden block has is something that's worked for me. Now, what we're going to use first is the alcohol. Available Amazon, eBay, was it 99.9% alcohol? And we're just going to spray a little bit onto the back of where the number is. Now, when you're working with solvents, it's really important to limit where the solvent goes as it runs. Because even though we have cleaned it and got rid of the grease, almost always you will get a, a kind of grime residue at the periphery of the solvents pool if you like so that's around this bit here but we're gonna put a little bit on the alcohol on. i've got a little ceramic tub i'm gonna leave that over the top for 30 seconds or so now the reason i'm using alcohol for this uh, to apply to the back and not vlr is because alcohol takes a little bit longer to evaporate than vlr vlr is great stuff but it's not suitable for everything the reason i've got a pot over the top and the reason that the room isn't boiling hot is because it again slows down the rate at which the alcohol evaporates and therefore it gives it more time on the material and, and at the back of the adhesive crucially and enables it to eat away and start dissolving the the adhesive better. Let's say if I'd used VLR in the back, it would work, but it would take a lot longer because of the, the evaporation rate. So let's leave this to work for a bit. It's probably had about a minute or so. So let's turn it over. You can see now, here is the uh, periphery of the there will likely be a little bit of a smooth there, but we can get that off a later date. Now, using this tool, like I say, it's a paint scraper, and I've, I've worked the edges to make them rounded so as not to snag the material. Um, I'm just going to start rubbing on the middle of uh, where the alcohol was gone. I'm not going to do the whole nine for this video. This is just to show you what you need to do. It's quite a time-consuming job, but... This video, by the end of it, this central patch there will be free of adhesive. Now, already you can see that the alcohol is starting to come away. Now, something to be wary of when you're using this tool is it's fantastic, but with some shirts, the material is more prone to scraping away. It's really important that you don't use too much force to get rid of the adhesive because yes you need some force to get rid of it but not so much that it damages the material underneath so like you can see look it's coming off in quite thick chunks now which is all there once it, you feel like it's kind of there's a little bit more friction a little less lubricated it means that the alcohol is evaporating and therefore it's probably a good idea to put a little bit more on but like I keep saying, it's all about patience with this sort of work. You can't just spray the whole of the back of it, of it with alcohol and then scrape away. You really need to work it a little bit at a time and not rush it. So again, we just put a little bit more on there. Let's leave that on there just for a bit. Stop it evaporating too much. I'd love to hear from any kind of chemists out there that can give me a bit of a science lesson on on how this is what's working but just over the course of time and, and the amount of times i've tried, kind of tried different methods this is, seems to be the the one that gives the the best results so let's leave that it's probably been another 30 seconds or so take it off 
There you go. And we go back again with the scraper. You can see that it's still coming off. But this time you'll, you'll feel where it hasn't evaporated. It's, it's a little bit more lubricated. And, and on the scraper, you'll see, oh, there you go. You'll see a red, because it's a red shirt, um, a red, a deep sort of melted residue, ad adhesive residue that has just melted away. Now, I reckon that this looks pretty good. So we've got from, and this is, it feels really thick and abrasive. So if you apply any solvent to the top of it, it will just take you an age to get through it. So it's really important to get through those top layers. Then once you get underneath, then you can apply the solvent onto the top and use less scraper and more, more of a cloth to rub it away. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just rub with a, a cloth, just to try and take a little bit more of it off. But again, now I can feel that it's starting to get a little bit sticky. And what that will do is that will start attaching to the material and pulling it, and then you'll get a little bit of a rough finish. So what we're gonna do now is apply a little bit of the VLR onto the, the middle of the bit. Aim in there, never mind and we're just going to rub away. And what you should see is that we're starting to get back to the original material. And what, that's taking just a couple of minutes of use, using the right, using the right solvent in the right order. Let's see. Yep, we're getting there. Be very careful when you're applying the, the VLR. I prefer to apply it to a, a, a cloth and then pull it on the, the material. It saves the real art and also it means that it's gonna be a little less messy with it all. But as you can see now, we're starting to get down to just the material. But I don't know if you can see, and we have to zoom in a bit, but that is now pretty good. Now if I just show you, here we go. Right, so you can see that the centre here, it is pretty much the same feel as that. So that means kind of, it's all come off and it's not damaged, it's not pulled. There will likely be something visible at the end of it. So it's, you really want to be covering it up with a, another number of some sort in this instance. But the point here is that it's got rid of that hardened adhesive you're left with the material so if i was to go around do the whole number nine you'd be left with probably a little bit of visible residue but a nice smooth finish so, so thank you for watching today's video i hope it's been informative i hope it's given you a, a couple of tips there'll be a whole series of, of videos to take you through uh, other tips and tricks depending on the the name set and the adhesive but i hope you've enjoyed this if you have please click like and subscribe and look out for next week's video thank you